Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I'm so glad that you're here for my next guest. I've got David Steckel. He's a home expert at Thumbtack. David, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. All right, let's talk about cities across the USA. You say they've maybe gotten a grade from A to F. Let's find out their rankings and why you're ranking them. Why are you ranking cities? Oh, sure. Well, we interviewed over 3,600 service providers from across the nation, and this is actually the largest survey of its kind. And the reason why we do this survey every year for the past 10 years is because it's actually small businesses that power our business. And the best way to do the best way to do good by them is to be speaking to them continuously and to also be asking what can state, local, and federal governments do to help them succeed. And the, t- the top five states that came back with our rankings were Maine with an A+, plus, followed by New Hampshire, South Carolina, Florida, and Georgia. And I'm also happy to say that Dallas came back with one of our higher scores with an A on small business friendliness. But there's also some cities that could use some work within Dallas. Austin came back with a C. Okay, I'm surprised at that. Why... Um... Why are small businesses the focus of this survey? So again, it's, it's small businesses that power our platform. And we have the understanding that when you can help the small businesses thrive, they're going to be able to help our homeowners complete the jobs that they want. And when interviewing our small businesses, it turns out that they are very, very interested in having their local governments champion the policies to help them thrive. And we heard back from them that they're excited to have their governments focus on improving training programs, reducing tax burdens, streamlining regulation, and improving access to health care. The uh, Small Business Administration, I'm guessing, um, they're strong in these cities where they got an A or an F or not so strong? I would say that we had many different questions on the survey and you can go to thumbtack.com slash survey to learn more particularly about it. But we asked questions, for example, how how is this city in regards to starting a small business? How is the city in regards to hiring new new employees, licensing, regulation, et cetera? So we really ran the gamut from local, state and federal opportunities. Okay, so the top states that are supporting businesses, which one were supporting uh, minority and women-owned businesses? So this was some of the most exciting data we got back from the survey. And it turns out that almost half of all businesses begun last year were minority-owned. And the states that created the most supportive environment for them were Virginia, Florida, and Georgia. And for women entrepreneurs specifically, the friendliest states for them came back as Maryland, Washington, Georgia, and Virginia. Did the communities rally around these small business during the pandemic? Is that how they got to be maybe more successful? So the small businesses have proven their adaptability and resilience, but it was also us as a nation that helped out. We saw every one of us pitch in here and over one in four Americans continued to pay their providers even if they weren't receiving services. Many more supported these small businesses through donations and many, many more focused on local purchasing to help their businesses. And I really hope this trend continues. We do also too. So Thumbtack took a look at this survey, this wide and broad survey. What would be your um, uh, total feeling about the survey? What came out of that survey for small businesses and the people that hired them? I'll say two things. I'll say that overwhelmingly, our small businesses have increased optimism about the economy. 87% of small business owners 
said there's more than enough opportunity in their communities to thrive. And this is up 11% from 2019. And on the other side, 94% of homeowners surveyed suggested that they're excited to have vendors back in their home completing work. If someone needs to look at this survey or want to get more information, where would you send them online, David? You just go to thumbtack.com backslash survey and to connect with one of our local professionals in your neighborhood to help complete any task in and around your home, just download the app from either the Android or the Apple App Store or go to thumbtack.com. I want to thank you so much for that that information, especially after this this devastating hurricane we've gone through. I know they're going to need help to get back on their feet. They're going to need the services of small businesses. And I think your place is the place to go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.